WPGET Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. Okay, so there's a question in the uh, Global Elemental community, Facebook community, uh, this morning from Muhammad here. Uh, and what he's wanting to do is have a pop up that only shows once per session. So when you have an open browser, uh, you go to a page, it shows the pop up. Once you close it, it doesn't show it again. But if you close your browsers, come back in on a new session, um, then it'll show it again. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of pop-ups that just show uh, automatically. Uh, I prefer to have some sort of user interaction uh, where they trigger uh, a pop-up. But I'm, I've thought about this and I thought, is this actually possible? So I looked at the um, Elementor pop-ups. And if we have a look at the uh, triggers, there's on page load, on scroll, uh, you can turn that on within so many seconds, etc. Um, you've got an advanced rules here, which is show after so many views. So after you've been refreshed the page, you've gone to so many pages, um, after so many sessions. So on the first time you go to the site, maybe not the second time, maybe show it. Um, up to X time, so if you close it, let's say you've just set that to once, and once they close it, it won't show again, but that there is stored globally. So in your local storage, which means that that's done, uh, even if they close the browser and come back in, it's still not gonna show it. So there's nothing else here that really relates to that. So, so if you have a look at where Elementor saves uh, the details on what's happened over the in the browser, it saves it under what they call local storage. Um, now, local storage is persistent, which means that it next time you open up your browser, um, you're going to get all of this uh, all of this information from the storage. There's a second type of storage here they call session storage, which is only live for while you're in that session. Elementor is not using this. Um, for um, for the pop-ups. So the short answer to that question in Facebook is there currently doesn't look like there is a way to do it with Elementor itself. Doesn't mean it can't be done. What I've done is, and I'll show you here, if I click, yeah, if I close this pop-up, and I go back to my session storage, I've now got another property in here, which is WPG for WPGET, pop-ups closed and I've got an ID stored. So I've got some JavaScript which does that, which I'm just gonna work through. So what I've done here is, and I'll put this up on a tutorial so it's copy and paste, is we're gonna wait for the Elemental front end to init, um, get a reference to jQuery. And what we're gonna look at is the uh, session storage, get the item WPG pop-ups closed. And you have to save it as a past JSON string because you can only save strings. You can't save objects on there. So what we do is we look at the uh, past string, which is going to give me an array back. If it is not set, then set it to an empty array. And then what we can do is on the document, look for the elemental pop-up hide event. Um, this passes in two properties, which is the event and then the ID of the pop-up. Um, and what we're now, now going to look at is if this pop-up's closed that we got from the session storage includes the ID, uh, sorry, doesn't include the ID, so it's false, add the ID to the pop-up's close, stick that back onto the session storage. So we're going to JSON stringify the pop-up's close. So basically it's an empty array for the first time. It's then going to add our ID to that array and store it back onto the session. So this is what we saw here. So once we closed it, in my case, I saw it save an array of 9877, so one element. That's pretty much what it does. We then have a second part, where it is the on the elemental front end in it. Now, we need to have this inside this listener here, because elemental front end doesn't exist until this has happened. So we need to have that inside there anyway. We're going to look for another property called components in it, another event, I should say, uh, called components in it. And when that happens, we're looking for our pop up ID. Um, and if that is not in the includes pop up, so it's not been saved in the array, 
then we want to tell it to show that pop-up with that pop-up ID. So this is opening the pop-up with JavaScript. So effectively what we're doing, if I go back to my page, I'm going to delete this key here. Uh, back to it. So we've got no key there. Now if I F5, my pop-up came up. F5 again. My pop-up came up again. If I close it, then do another F5, my pop-up's gone. So it doesn't open because it is now in the session storage, we've got a an array with the ID of that pop-up telling it that it's already been closed. So this is a way around it using JavaScript and session storage. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll show you one more thing, which is how you find the ID. So if we look at these pop-ups here, we go back to the dashboard. And uh, where's my pop-ups? So for this pop-up here, the ID is there. So 9877 for this uh, pop-up. And one last thing I forgot to mention is that the pop-up has to be the pop-up has to be available for JavaScript to be able to open. It's only conditionals. Uh, where are we? Our display conditions. Um, we have to have it have it set to the entire site, all the pages that we're going to have it on. So that's pretty much it. Um, as I'm thinking, there's one more probably thing I should mention, which is I've put this code here into an HTML widget on this page that's only going to apply to this page. If you wanted this to apply to the entire site, all the pages, you'd probably stick this inside Elemental Custom Code or Code Snippets or whatever you wanted to put it in. Um, but that way there, if you put it here on this page, you can control which pop-ups you're actually wanting to manage right within this page. So I think this is probably a better way of doing it anyway. But yeah, so hopefully that is uh, something that makes sense and that you can use. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of uh, pop-ups just arbitrarily opening. I'd rather have it so someone clicks on something to open it or, or chooses to have a pop-up, but, you know, others disagree. So uh, hopefully this is something that's going to be useful for you.